organization is holding its final fundraiser. Friends of Faith was created as former KTVU reporter Faith Fancher started her battle with breast cancer. She turned her fight into a public forum to raise awareness about the disease from 1997 when she was diagnosed until her death in 2003 at the age of 53. Friends of Faith has helped low-income women get the money they need to get screened for breast cancer. Joining us now live in studio, former KTVU reporter Rita Williams and organizer of the Friends of Faith fundraiser. Welcome back. Yeah. We missed you. Thank you. How uh, is it? How my is car it found its way back. Good. To you don't need directions. No years, navigation system. Four years, you said. It's been. It's been four years. It's hard to believe. People still stop me on the street and say, I just saw you last week on KTVU. And I'm like, did yeah. you? Well, are y'all running old stories? Do you, do, you think you could, do you think you could just step in and do it again? Yes. Okay. Would you, would you but, want to? <laughs> no. Okay. I'll tell you, we still get asked about you. Have you seen Rita? How is she doing? I mean, your legacy here at Channel 2 looms very large, even as there are some new faces in the newsroom. Well, Everybody talks about Rita and your beautiful writing. You're very so. kind. Thank you. Aww. And it's nice to know, and I love it when people stop me on the street Aww. and say thank you for all those years, because it really does mean something now, once you're gone. Right. And You're not gone. You will never right. be yeah. gone. I mean, it's interesting because people know you for your work here on Channel 2, but you were always very busy sort of behind the scenes, as they say, and this was one of your, your key loves, your key projects, Friends of Faith. Well, I think we all did it. There are a lot of us women in the media as well as other professions, but new faith. And we have tried to keep her organization going, as you said, in the 16 years since she died in 2003 from breast cancer. And we mostly have had a walk around Lake Mary right. every August near the time of her birthday. And so we're having a wrap-up this year. It's kind of a bittersweet time for us because we have the board of directors decided that it's time to disband. Um, and there are a lot of reasons for it, but this is our last big gala. But we have a Faith Fancher Emergency Breast Cancer Fund that will be administered as it has been all along by the Women's Cancer Resource Center in Oakland. And they will continue to distribute money in Faith's name. And so we're trying to raise as much money as we yeah. possibly can at this gala and online if anyone wants to donate. Uh, so that we have enough funds in there to keep Faith's name going for many, many, many more years. You know, I arrived here in 2005, and I've sat and I never got a chance to meet Faith. You know, one of my favorite words, and you guys know this, is inspiration. How, how would you say Faith inspired you in life, Rita? Well, Faith and I were dear friends. We went through a lot of issues together in our jobs. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> And uh, so we bonded and we were very, very close. There weren't a lot of women on the air back, back then. Um, and so Faith and I really loved each other and we trusted each other. And when she died, it was a great, horrible thing for all of us. And I remember how hard that was. I had to go to the funeral for Faith that day as her friend. And also I covered it for the station. Mm -hmm. And um, Mike Cerruti, the editor who just came out here, he cut my track that day and he said he had never seen me take so many takes to get mm. through it because I broke down crying trying to record the story um, so many times. It was very, very difficult. But I know Faith is watching us right now. She's right here with us. She never saw a camera or a camera never saw her that didn't like her. She just blossomed in front of a camera and she loved pink champagne. We're going to have pink champagne on Saturday night. Uh, this is at the Oakland Marriott, where I had my retirement dinner, which was a benefit for Friends of Faith. And it's from 6 to midnight, and we have a great live band, we have music, we have DJs, we have photo booths, we have commemorative journals, we have food, we have all sorts of stuff. And a lot of VIP celebrities, and let me throw this in, Dennis Richmond, right. I coaxed out of retirement mm -hmm. in his retirement place. Of course, the golf club out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, Dennis, right. who was very close to Faith, is emceeing the big VIP event mm -hmm. with me on Saturday night from 6 to 7.30. Unfortunately for all of you out there, those tickets have sold out. Okay. They sold out last Sunday. But our dance tickets, and Dennis and I will still be there for that part, um, are still on sale. And you can get your tickets or donate at 20shadesofpink.com. 20 Shades of Pink, it's 2-0.
Shadesofpink.com. I, I remember uh, Faith actually worked on the morning show for a little bit, uh, and I got to meet her, and I was really new in the business, and basically no one would talk to me. Faith did. <laughs> you know, she was the kind of person who came out of her way to talk to the new people, so I'll never forget that. And uh, you know, she was the one who came up and introduced herself, and, you know, she was a... Are you saying I never introduced <laughs> myself to you? Thanks so night. You worked that night. You were the first yeah, we one were... I met, Rita. <laughs> worked that night. Yes. Actually, yeah. Mike, I with... did... Uh did spend some time we with. Did, yes. <laughs> well, I have to say, people still talk here not only about you and certainly about Dennis as well, but when it comes to Faith, people talk about her laugh because she was, you know, oh, yeah. she she was a tiny <laughs> little, but her laugh just projected, and it, it's almost as though it still rings in the halls today. She did, and that's what I was thinking about saying Saturday night was just that. I can hear her just exuberant laugh. Yeah. It was so natural and so wonderful and and true. And that was Faith. And she always had a smile even when she was in I remember I was with her the day before she died and no hair and she was supposedly comatose and she loved my rum cakes and I put a little piece of rum cake up to her mouth and I know she could taste it and she smiled. Yeah. And uh, and it was that beautiful smile. Yeah. No hair, uh, very thin but she was smiling, and that's the way I like to remember her. And this was a picture, I know they showed it, but this was many years ago when Faith was at the A's game, and it was Breast Cancer Awareness, and she and I were up there together and uh, toasting. She loved champagne again, so we were toasting, and we will be toasting Faith on Saturday night. Absolutely. All the information we have uh, waiting for you on the website, ktv.com. Uh, we'll pop it up there one more time this coming Saturday from 6 till midnight, downtown Oakland Marriott. Think Pink is the theme. The champagne is on ice. Can I come in for a hug? Would that, would that be inappropriate? <laughs> I think we'll be right back. Rita, we love you. Oh.